So, back to Resident Evil 2. May, I've been debating whether to even go in this because it says keep out and maybe the game will reward us for not going under there. But he can't really go anywhere else, I don't think. He just wants to be the hero, he wants to rescue one person. Yep, yeah, we need a special item for that. See, we're gonna be the president now. We become president because everyone else is not around. We're the last best option. That's it, that's all that was in this room was like an ammo pack. That's pretty helpful, but. <laughs> Why are there so many trash bags? They were only here for three days, right? According to one of these papers, which So, when I played Silent Hill 2, if you did not get every single healing item and ammo, um, you would die. So you had to have a walkthrough, but I don't feel that way uh, with this game yet. Jesus. Yep, nothing we can do about that. I have tried shooting these. Okay, I'll open up about my feelings. Oh, the door. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! I'll get you out! He'll be fine. No. He's not fine. nice and these are some statues and some statue codes I played through this level or up till the next save point without everybody and I can't I don't have a knife so you know what this is a survival game it's not an action game you have to run unless uh, you think it's absolutely necessary Go into the bathroom. See the monster in the toilet. What? Why is it flooding? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's helpful. Excuse me, I'm in the bathroom. You can't hurt me. Let's look at it, take a time to reflect. He doesn't have a reflection, he's a vampire. Oh, dang. Yep. And then just trample him. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, not this stupid room. See? Jesus. In this game, it's They're really everywhere. helpful to... 
Oh, okay, but that one, for once, actually fell over because of the headshot. And how am I doing on health? Do I get to find that out? No, I am barely. See, it helps. A lot being able to keep track of the map in your mind. He didn't make the mistake. No, nope, he made the exact same mistake the other guy did. But, luckily the zombie doesn't know that pants are not... The zombie doesn't know that pants are part of the body. How did you get there? Where were you hiding? Leon Cannon. There was another off shot that could... What are you doing? He doesn't need help up. That's gross. Touch your blood hands. Oh, he's gonna be the zombie in the uniform not too far from now. But that's gotta be the most mature fictional character I've ever seen. He's like, I'm not a priority, don't help me, you gotta run. Alright, so this is locked. We're gonna need a second thing. We need a deadbolt key for it. Uh, there's a second door that needs that. But right up here... This will help us beat one zombie. One rabies freak. See, this is the second door that's going to need it. And then this we can is where the lion is. And I remember it being lion, plant, bird. And we want to put that in the slot as soon as possible. So, because every, you only get eight inventory slots, and you don't want to use them, any of them on your medallion. And I don't think I checked this way, but, you know, at the end of a corridor, there's always something. Nope. Just this uh, statue of this wise looking man. And this is where we need to go. This is where I remember going. Oh no, there's a third of these 
special doors. Guide pamphlet. So this guide pamphlet's funny because it only talks about uh, the orphanage and the police station as the tour guide. Did you know while we are the home of pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. The Raccoon City Police Station. The building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone era. I don't usually see police stations as tourist attractions. Are you even allowed in the police station? But that's why I, why it's so cool in here is because it's uh, an art gallery. And I suppose since Raccoon City is fictional, the uh, police station is the place everyone visits. Secondly, there's the orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation, with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. Now, since Umbrella Corporation is evil, I don't believe I have any memories of a corporation funding an orphanage. That's probably because they're just looking for people to experiment on. And this we don't have the code for as far as I know. Um, sure you did what you could, Leon. Yeah, he doesn't tell us either. There's no hint in the guide pamphlet either. Um, so now that we got the plant, we need to get out of there. I think the only other place... No, there's two other places. There was where we just were, and I believe we got everything we needed from that area. And there's also this one. It's taped for some reason, and you couldn't access it earlier because you didn't have the knife. Uh, yeah, here in Seattle, we're not allowed to like police officers, so uh, we're supposed to say good riddance to them. This is not now, how I imagine my first day. with these, you can combine them into something that heals your health fully. But I am going to wait until that's absolutely necessary in case I need just a small amount of health. Though it would free up an inventory slot. I'll wait until I find two more items before resorting to that. Alright. Get a few practice swings. Oh, jeez. Now, in canon, I don't think he's killed any zombies in this playthrough. And then this dude, so, canonically, he's just following the other guy's advice. He said a bad word! Alright, this guy, I don't trust him. I want to... No. That implies he's dead. You know, if I do this... And he doesn't get up, that's not my fault. That's the game's fault. This guy... I don't think he's coming down. His brain is not going to be attached to his body if he does come down. No, oh, that wasn't what I meant. I meant that. Well, I think he's... 
I don't think he's getting up. And then this, it also needs a special deadbolt key extra. I don't think I've ever seen a lock that's needed two keys like that. Oh boy. So, later in the game you can board up these windows, but uh, we're just gonna have to accept that something might pop through that. No, that's what I want. Yep, see this window's totally getting broken through. Oh, I don't like it. They take so many hits. Uh, yeah, and this game there's no real reward for killing them besides increased safety. You don't get experience, you don't even get gold. Not like in Resident Evil 4. Or pesos, or whatever their currency was. Uh, no, they were in Spain. It, sorry, this is what I referenced earlier about how it was only three days and they managed to get 20 trash bags in there. We're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. September 25th Addendum One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. September 26th, day two at the police station. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters. But, surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th, day three, there was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. Twelve people died, and there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into dis disarray here. Now that might be today. Today might be September 27th in the game. He can't drink any of these. It's okay to steal from those. For, like, in this situation. And whenever you get a new item, it does a fun thing where it, uh... Makes a sound out of my controller. And the map... Says that this is another entrance. Or exit. Oh, gosh. Well... There... He's not getting up. For some reason, he had five bullets and no weapons. Or perhaps he has a copy of the weapon that Leon has. And he doesn't need a second one, as far as he's aware. He really wanted into this broken vending machine that already... Oh, he was just playing dead. Maybe they're smart enough to do that. But that is uh, unusual behavior. He has anthropomorphized characteristics. Human characteristics. Ah, there's another window. 
What can you do about it? All right, so here are some boards. You gotta put them right there. And now I'll come back for that. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that up there. I don't even know if that was necessary. He might have never been able to break that door. Medical benefits of herbs. So you can combine green and blue herbs to increase your health or or blue herbs can in heal poison. But red and blue you can use to increase your health. Alright, so We're going to come back after we receive um, a film reel, and that would, all it does is give us a hint for a puzzle. So it's not even necessary to come in here if you are you using a walkthrough? Oh, yeah, the gunpowder is useless. Um, I don't even know how many animals you can make with that, but I'm getting rid of this. Discard. Because this is a lot more helpful. Although, I could have combined the two greens. Um, so, this lady. She is definitely alive. I don't know why only some of them stand up. But, uh, it, the, it pays for itself. Because she's... No, it doesn't. It was... that was a mistake. Dang it! Oh, that might be game over. Yeah, that was not worth it. This ammo pack here, don't even go for it. Just... It's not worth your life. Okay, that five ammo, no, for sure not. Wow, that was surprisingly a low amount of damage she took. All right, men's restroom. Oh gosh, that, that legit scared me. What, he's just a dead body in there? He's not even a... Okay, that looks like we're gonna need a wrench eventually so that we can stop that. Portable safe instructions. Press a button to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them all to open the safe. The buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all of the lights to go out and you will need to start the sequence again. Ow. Well, that sucks. I'm, I have to get rid of another inventory slot. Oh, okay. I don't need shotgun shells. Uh, I know where it is. It's not too far from here, but they're not going to let you get it for free. You have to do a puzzle or get a hint. No, you have to... They make you work for it. Okay, we're safe now. We are currently safe. And see this shadow? Oh, that's not a zombie, that's a statue. Ah, uh, they tricked you. Is there a funny word I can spell with three letters from A to F? A to F K, that's funny.
Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. I gotta get rid of them. I don't wanna. I'd rather have more pockets. Look at all these books. What do you need these books in the police station for? Uh, okay, are any of these legible? As actual words? They might be, but just not. It, it's not worth it right now. You know, this is nice that they barricaded so many things. I don't know how they... Look, there's even there's a chair down here. Where are they getting these chairs and trash cans from and tables? Every room seems to be fully furnished. Oh, what the heck was that? That's that looked like a super monster. No, we don't need those. Uh, there's stuff that's useful, just not more useful than what I have. Okay, okay. <laughs> no one wanted to go to the library. Leon, it's Marvin. Oh, that's cool. The, you know, in his condition, he should explain what it is. He might pass away by the time we get there. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Hey, be quiet in the library. Oh, gosh, how did I miss? That sounds like he's near me. I do not. Who took the thing for the pallet jack? Okay, it sounds like someone's here, but they're not. Oh. That looks important. I really have to get rid of a herb for this. Oh, okay, so it's blue, so it opens the blue doors. All right, what do you got? be nice if I had a little storage space to put these okay so we have a blue key so that means that opens this door Very nice oh gosh you know what now is a good time to save now that we're back here I probably missed a bunch of important things. But that's okay. You can only have a first time playing a game once. Oh, all right. And very nice. Thanks for watching.